Hey, this is Mr. Raiden from MrRaiden.com. This is the 2021 AP Chemistry Free Response question number seven. This finishes out the 2021 AP Chemistry exam. And uh, if again, if you haven't taken a look at my website, make sure you go to see that. Let's start off with this question. It says, uh, you can see right away, it's a gas problem. Okay, and if you have a little bit of Mexican food like before, you might... Uh, you might have some gas problems, but here we go. It's a totally different type of gas problem. The student investigates a gas behavior using a rigid cylinder with a movable piston, negligible mass. The cylinder contains the number of moles. So right away, I, I, my students right away thought, I'm going to use PV equals NRT. Why? Because they see the number of moles, they see liters, they, they think something's going to happen. And you can see right away, we want to know the density, the density. Now take a look at these units of density, grams per liter. I already have liters, which means all I need is grams, don't I? All I need is grams. Well, I have moles, so if I have moles, I can do grams. So if I take 0.325 moles of O2, how do I find grams? I multiply by its molar mass, 32 grams per mole, and that ends up giving me 10.4 grams of O2. I want to know the density of O2 in grams per liter. So that means I have 10.4 grams of O2. I know I have 7.95 liters of O2, which means that it would be able to find the density of 1.31 grams per liter. 1.31 grams per liter. Uh, my students uh, will sometimes memorize an equation for the density of a gas. Uh, the density of a gas, you can see the density of a gas equals the pressure times the molar mass over R over the temperature. Pressure times molar mass over R over temperature. And that incorporates Pivner, but it also incorporates this times the molar mass right here. It takes these two equations and puts them into one equation right here. A lot of times my students like to memorize this. Sometimes my students like to just go step by step to find the density of a gas. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know the pressure, one atmosphere. You know R. You know temperature is 20, 20, 298 Kelvin. We know the molar mass is 32. You would end up getting the same exact 1.31 grams per liter using this equation, believe it or not. Okay. And so you can see the next question says attempting to change the density. Ooh, 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 ooh. Changing the density of O2. The student opens the valve on the side of the cylinder, pushes down some to release some gas, and closes the valve again. The temperature remains constant. Will this action change the density of the gas? Now, if you were just paying attention and you knew that the density of a gas equals pressure times molar mass over R over T. The pressure, because the volume went down, the, uh, the, the, because the volume went down, the pressure changed, okay? And it changed inversely proportional to that volume. The molar mass of O2 hasn't changed, R definitely hasn't changed, and the temperature hasn't changed, which means the density of the gas hasn't changed as well. Neither of these, none of these things have changed, okay? Uh, the density of the gas stays the same, but that might not be how you want to answer this. Uh, it may be that you answered it to say, as the gas is, uh, is pushed out, you have a less number of moles of gas, which means if you have less number of moles of gas, you have less number of grams of gas grams of O2. Well, we have less volume of O2, didn't we? And we know density, which is grams per liter, is the mass per volume, isn't it? And so both of these things changed when we did that, which means it's going to give you the same exact density of the gas the same exact density of the gas. The gas hasn't changed. So we can kind of go step by step. We can use that density equation. We, there's a bunch of different things. Okay. Then it says uh, for part C of this four point problem, four parts, four points, you can see one point apart. It says a student tries to change the density of O2 by cooling the cylinder to negative 55, which causes the volume of gas to decrease. 
using the principles of kinetic molecular theory. Explain why the volume decreases when the temperature decreases. You can see the key is kinetic molecular theory. Kinetic molecular theory. So let me um, let me try to explain this, and I'm going to kind of type out my explanation here. This is what I would say when the temperature of the gas decreases. The kinetic energy of the gas decreases as well. The speed of the gas decreases as well due to the decrease in kinetic energy. Uh, the particles do not collide with the sides of the container with uh, the same speed or frequency, but less. Therefore, the volume to keep the pressure constant will decrease. And so you can see, I use the principles of kinetic molecular theory. Kinetic meaning I have to take a look at the speed, the, what the particles are actually doing. Molecular, again, looking at the particles, I want to take a look at what's happening with the particles. Temperature affects the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy affects the speed. The speed connects, um, the speed connects uh, the collisions of the container. And you can see I love my uh, autocorrect for spell check. And as the, the, the collisions with the size of the container are less, less frequent, less speed, less kinetic energy, that means the volume's going to decrease. Okay. And last but not least is letter D. This shows up uh, on many AP chemistry exams, so be ready for this one. It says the student then further cools it to negative 180. That's really low. And it says explain why the measured volume of O2 is smaller than the calculated volume. It says uh, we, we know using the calculated volume what the volume should be, but the volume's not where it should be, which means what is our answer? It's that the measured volume is less because uh, this because this low temperature of negative 180 degrees Celsius, low temperature of the gas uh, results in the gas not behaving ideally, but as a real gas. The gas particles are then, having greater intermolecular forces of attraction due to this decrease in the kinetic energy. Again, the kinetic energy, the temperature went down, the kinetic energy went down, the particles are going to attract more and more and more. Uh, these London dispersion forces become greater. The attraction between particles are greater, resulting in the less lesser volume of gas. And so this one is, we're not an ideal gas anymore. We can't use PV equals NRT. We have what's called a real gas. And that is question number seven. That finishes out the 2021 AP Chemistry exam. I hope this helped. Uh, make sure you go visit themisterreading.com, and it'll be the best $30 you've ever spent in your entire life. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you later.